Once again, here's Michael Ware on the search for the man known as El Chapo. This man makes a living mockery of America's war on drugs. He is Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, one of the world's richest men and Mexico's most wanted, with a $5 million US government bounty on his head. Chapo is the face. He is the guy who is currently at war against the government of Mexico, against law enforcement and military forces. <laughs> At war because El Chapo heads the ultra-violent, ultra-lucrative Sinaloa drug cartel. His exploits legendary. El Chapo Guzman is como Dios. El Chapo Guzman, he's like a god in Mexico, says Antonio Ortega. Nobody sees him, but he's everywhere. He's a myth. Criminal lawyer Antonio Ortega is one of the very few Mexicans daring enough to speak of El Chapo on camera. Having met the man himself while El Chapo was here in Puente Grande prison before El Chapo escaped in 2001. When you sit with him, says Ortega, you see a human contradiction. You see a strong man, intelligent and sensitive at the same time, Ortega told me, in this Mexico City park. You don't see a narco trafficker, you don't see a killer or assassin. He doesn't have scars, he doesn't have that funny face, he doesn't have it. He looks at you deeply, at the eyes, like an x-ray machine. He can look right inside. And El Chapo's prison life, says the lawyer, was the stuff of legend. 19 days before his escape, El Chapo hosted a New Year's Eve party with another cartel boss. There was a band playing, there were ladies, there was alcohol, all the best brands, Ortega told me. It was like a party in one of the best clubs in Manhattan. He has that Robin Hood persona in that he's constantly uh, um, attending to the poor, the needs of the poor and, and the people that surround, that surround him. On the run, El Chapo's business has continued to flourish and investigators say his orders followed. Ten months ago, this mutilated body appeared outside a Mexican police station. The message hanging over his corpse signed in El Chapo's name. Many Mexicans believe El Chapo's whereabouts are no mystery. In April, this Catholic Archbishop, Hector Gonzalez Martinez, pronounced everybody knows his whereabouts except the authorities. Claiming El Chapo is in these mountains in the country's north, not far from the U.S. border. El Chapo's exploits continue to undermine Mexican President Felipe Calderón, especially when Forbes magazine named El Chapo 701st on the world's rich list with a net worth of $1 billion. We deeply regret what seems like a campaign against Mexico, which has escalated, said President Calderon. First from public opinion, and now even magazines, which are not only attacking and lying about the situation, but are also praising criminals. This from a president who upped the ante in the drug war, sending over 40,000 Mexican army soldiers into the streets of his own cities in a bid to crush the cartels. A bid backed by US President Barack Obama. It's important that the United States steps up and cooperates effectively uh, in battling the adverse effects of drug trafficking. That was back in June. Since then, the slaughter in Mexico has continued, and El Chapo's drugs have continued to pour into America. All the while, with El Chapo Guzman remaining the face of an unwinnable drug war on America's border. Michael Ware, CNN.